Hello everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic in India and across the world led to the disruption of our lives. The impact of the pandemic was unprecedented in scale and led to a severe healthcare emergency world over. The biggest challenge which India had to face in tackling the pandemic of the COVID-19 was to stop spread of the infection, creating awareness about COVID-19 through the mass communication, making healthcare and essential services available to the common people throughout the pandemic, testing, quarantining, and treating patients suffering from the virus, developing and bringing vaccines to the market, and providing free access of these vaccines. While doing all this, it was important to ensure livelihood of people and also economic momentum at the same time. India's fight against pandemic has been a decisive one. On 24th March 2020, the government of India, under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, announced a national-wide lockdown to check the spread of virus while the central and the state governments launches Herculean effort to tackle the spread of the virus and ensured the ability of healthcare, food and essential items to the people. People also launched a silent movement while staying indoors and by doing whatever they could do to help each other in these challenging times. The travel restriction <clears throat> and the closure of global borders mounted a great challenge in terms of ability of COVID-19 essentials like PPE kits, mask, sanitizer, and test kits. Besides this, there was also a challenge in terms of availability of critical medicines. This is when India's entrepreneurial spirit with the manufacturing and service sector backed by the support of the government of India came to the fore. Collectively, they mounted one of the fiercest battle against pandemic. The private sector, which included small, medium and large scale enterprises, understanding the need of the hour, ramped up efforts to domestically produce items like PPE kits, sanitizers, and other COVID-19 essentials. Backed by the innovative and enterprising minds, Indians also produce several naval protective gears to fight the pandemic. IIT Gauhati, for instance, developed a coating for cloth masks, which ensure better COVID protection. IIT Delhi startup developed and launched an antimicrobial and washable mask which was reusable. In a short time, with these efforts, the country not only had enough sources for large local population but could also export these items on a large scale. What was critical to the fight against the pandemic was uninterrupted supply of critical life-saving medicines. Indian scientists at the National Institute of Virology, Pune, were successful in isolating the virus in a very short time. India was amongst the first five countries to have isolated the virus. This was a precursor to what would be a long and sustainable effort to provide therapies and vaccine to fight the virus. The Indian pharma industry was able to stand up to the occasion through high level of collaboration with Government of India to ensure uninterrupted supply of medicine during the national lockdown of the 90 days. The government recognized pharmaceutical as an essential good and services and granted permission for movement of people and material. The government was not only approachable 
but also encouraging. It ensured that the continued transport and logistics to facilitate manufacturing and last mile delivery of pharmaceutical products. The pharma companies rose to this challenge in the midst of the lockdown and successive waves of the pandemic. While lockdown laid the logistic challenges, the government quickly facilitated the movement of raw material for the pharmaceutical sector. Another critical requirement for the steady supply of drugs was the need to have employee coming to the shop floor for production. This never looked like a challenge in India, where skills and highly motivated pharma workers rose to the occasion. There are innumerable stories of courage and ingenuity shown by people on the pharma shop floor. A case in point was an employee at our plant who traveled 400 kilometers from Indore to Ahmedabad on his bicycle crossing multiple state boundaries during the lockdown by showing his employee ID card to the security agencies. <clears throat> at every check post, he proudly displayed his ID card stating that I need to go and serve the country by producing medicine. Similar was the story at our Baddi plant where several employees waded through the river to reach the plant and stayed there during the entire lockdown to support the production since the road travel would have been more difficult. These are just two such stories of courage and determination amongst many others. The pharma shop floors and research labs were high on energy during the pandemic, right from hydroxychloroquine, which was recommended in the beginning of to remdesivir, feviparavir, dexamethasone, and several other medicines were supplied to the multiple countries across the world by India. We at Zydus are one of the largest producer of hydroxychloroquine and dexamethasone and our shop floor were busy in manufacturing medicine in large volume. We ramped up the production in a record time from a 3 metric ton to 30,000 metric tons. Initially, there were shortages in test kits which the Indian pharma sector could bridge in a very short time. Zydus supplied first batch of 30,000 ELISA test kits developed indigenously to the Indian Council of Medical Research, Pune, within two months of lockdown. The multi-pronged efforts of the Indian pharma industry to supply drugs with minimal disruption underlined its position as pharmacy of the world. Indian pharma companies not only continue to ensure supply of drugs, but also succeeded in inventing, manufacturing and supplying vaccine to the world throughout the pandemic. Most of the global vaccine and indigenous vaccines were both manufactured here in India. Indian healthcare companies succeeded in exporting new age vaccines, technology platforms like the DNA and mRNA. Zycov D from Zydus was the world's first plasmid DNA vaccine. Besides vaccine and drugs, Indian scientists and researchers dedicated themselves to research and development to find novel solution to fight the disease. To ensure that there is no shortage of critical vaccines around the world. India launched program of vaccine Maitri through which it supplied 64 million doses of vaccine to 82 countries. This includes supplies under grant, commercial contracts and COVAX facility. Indian pharma companies also coordinated with the industry associations in India and WHO, International Generic and Biosimilar Medicine Association, IGBA, Association of Accessible Medicines, ARM, and other 
to support access to critical medicines throughout the world. India launched the world's biggest inoculation drive against COVID-19 with vaccine being made available free of cost. So far, over 2.1 billion doses of vaccine have been administered. The healthcare sector spared no effort in saving lives. Doctors and nurses worked round the clock in challenging situation without caring about their own lives and save patients. Health centers, PHCs, dispensaries throughout the length and breadth of the country were attending patients 24 by 7. Innovative solutions like portable oxygen cylinders, self-test kits soon became a common feature helping patients in the times of need. Though the entire pandemic was a challenging experience, what made us get through this phase was our sustained and collaborative effort. Today, our healthcare system and pharma infrastructure is certainly more resilient, which makes us more confident of battling such adversity in future also. Where are we headed in the post-COVID world? The two major themes which have emerged more prominently in the post-COVID-19 world are thrust on digitization and sustainable processes. While digitization adds speed and agility to our business, sustainability ensures that we could conduct ourselves more responsibly considering the ecological and social challenges which the world faces today. Let's talk about digitization first. Today, the world realizes that digitization is the way ahead. The head start given by our virtual con connect during the pandemic has imprinted this idea more firmly in our minds that technology can be a great enabler for the business. Even during the global lockdown, it was digitization which led to the continuation of economic activity. The India Incorporated is strengthening the adoption and use of new edge cutting edge technologies which enables the businesses. Pharmaceutical and life science industry too is adopting digitization and technology in a big way. The digital solution for the industry will not only help streamline processes but also go a long way in improving the quality of life of our patients. They help in better diagnosis of disease condition, help provide better patient care and disease management, support research, offer digital connect, streamline better pharma show floor operation and the lifestyle delivery. The Indian pharma industry today is one of the largest in the world. It values around 42 billion today. The industry is poised to go to 130 billion by 2030. The position of the industry is largely attributed to the commanding presence in the affordable medical segment and vaccines across the world. The focus on innovation and digitization are going to be the imperative factor for catalyzing Indian Pharma's next phase of growth. Digitization in healthcare enables better patient care. As per the recent McKinsey research by 2030, monitoring and treating illness can have an economic impact of 240 to 1200 billion dollars while improving wellness could have an impact of 310 to 560 billion dollars. The report states that by 2030, the IoT, Internet of Things, could enable 5.5 trillion to 12.6 trillion in value globally. 
IoT enabled solution can support wellness and health by managing general and chronic condition that account for large percentage of overall healthcare spendings. Technologies like remote connectivity, telemedicine, and also IoT driven care with data driven technologies today give an insight to how to improve patient care and management of healthcare services using artificial intelligence. These are going to be exciting opportunity for both the pharma companies and the tech companies and will potentially open up promising outcomes for the patients. With a thriving healthcare sector in India, backed by large population and supported by capable doctors and efficient hospitals, sky is the limit for such advancement. Sustainability is the next point I would like to discuss. While we embrace digitization as a way of life, it is important to adopt sustainable practice for the healthy business and healthy planet. Corporations are today increasingly implementing responsible behavior as a part of their business outlook. This is of great importance as there is certainly a need to address critical issues which affect the well-being of people and community. Supply challenges, climate change, human rights and ongoing global healthcare concerns are among the broad set of issues intensifying the importance of sustainability. Strategies across the country. The pharma industry across the globe and also in India are working towards addressing them while financing capital and manufacturing capital will continue to play an important role what assumes more important is working towards preserving the natural capital pharma companies are today working towards reducing carbon footprint tracking sourcing production disposal of medicine digitization of patient information ensuring that every dose is used and not wasted and also exploring the use of recyclable plastics. As per a report by McKinsey, digital technology has the potential to reduce fossil fuel emission by 15% by 2030 and support a further 35% reduction by influencing consumer and business decision. Adoption of digital practice appears to be promising step in the quest to strike this critical balance. With the blend of technology and sustainable practices armed with power of innovation, the Indian healthcare sector will continue to play a critical role in ensuring good health and well-being of people not just in India but in the global community. In the coming years, we will continue to hear more about Indian innovation and research coming to the fore to bridge the unmet healthcare needs and helping people to get access to therapy, making it a positive difference to their lives. Thank you.